There are three types of split unit designs in which two are very safe but one requires caution. In this video I'll be opening your eyes a little bit cause what you're about to hear would change your perception about split unit ACs for good. Before we begin I would like to mention that not all AC designs are dangerous. In fact I'll be recommending some real good AC split unit products on the description of this video at discount prices. So let's jump right to it. First of all let's look at how an AC works in non-technical terms. The aim of of air conditioning is to constantly keep an enclosed environment in a cold controlled and favorable temperature to do this there has to be a constant absorption of heat from the building and a constant discharge of heat to the outside environment this is why domestic air conditioners have two major units the indoor units which houses the evaporator for absorption of heat from the building as well as the circulation fan and the outdoor units which houses the condenser as well as the cooling fan for discharging the heat to the environment it also houses the compressor but we won't be talking about that in this video compact designs would put both units in one housing but split designs would separate both units in different housings so while the evaporator absorbs the heat in the building and gets icy cold the circulation fan located behind the evaporator blows streams of air through the cold evaporator circulating that temperature around the building so now that we have a basic picture of what what happens inside the AC let's dive into the part where you need to be cautious there are three designs for split unit ACs in which two are very awesome but one requires caution before we continue quickly like and subscribe for product information that helps you make better buying decisions we already mentioned that a circulation fan blows streams of air through the cold evaporator to circulate the cold temperature around the building and how the circulation fan does this makes all the differences in the first design there is an air vent that goes outside the building from which this circulation fan can suck in fresh air through a filter before blowing it through the evaporator to cool the building. This is a super safe design because you see people psychologically confuse cold carbon dioxide for fresh air or oxygen. This design constantly sucks in fresh new air from outside the building before cooling it. That's why it is termed safe because even when you shut all the windows you don't shut out the air. The second split unit design is sort of a hybrid system because it gives you the option to suck in fresh air from outside the building or circulates the same air inside the building round and round. You'd find this design in vehicle air conditioners and this swap button looks something like this. So if you have like exhaust fumes from another vehicle you can easily shut out the bad air while circulating the good air already in the vehicle until you're in a safe environment once again. So FYI if you're the type who constantly use this option know that at some point you'd start taking in cold carbon dioxide and not fresh air especially if the vehicle is fully occupied. This is because the fan is now sucking in air from the same enclosed environment it's discharging this air. And this option is designed for temporal use. So the third and the worst yet the most popular and most affordable design of all which are the ones we see virtually everywhere. The third design has no air vent. They have both suction and discharge vent in the same indoor unit. Which means they would constantly suck in and discharge the same air over and over again in an enclosed environment. There is a claim that the discharge hose for the water flowing from the evaporator also acts as a suction hose. Ah, that's very incorrect. If that were true, the suction force wouldn't let the water drip downwards by gravity. Plus, you'd be able to feel the airstream with your hands. So, do we throw this product away? Absolutely not. Because you see, the fact that the same air gets cooled over and over again helps the AC achieve faster cooling and save a lot of energy that would have been used to cool fresh air from outside. Nevertheless, here are simple rules to maintain good air quality if you use these devices, especially for long period of time. Number one, always keep a window slightly open, especially if the house is occupied by more than two people. That way, new air can always come in to replenish the oxygen content of the building. Also, you won't fall into the deception that cold air is fresh air or that your AC somehow produces oxygen. These are psychological lies. Secondly, if you must shut out the window, make sure the volume of the building is big compared to the number of occupants. The reason is because it would take a longer period of time for the oxygen to be depleted if the ratio of volume to human 
favorous volume if for any reason you want to go airtight you can run the ac for a short while or in intervals don't get me wrong there are great products with several advantages like odor control particle control and other features but applying these simple rules would make them perfect for you i've included some great air conditioning products that are very safe on the description do check them out subscribe for more helpful tips to help your purchasing decisions my name is justin bye bye